new details in the death of British pop star Liam Payne. Authorities in Argentina have released audio of the 911 call and early autopsy results. CTV's Alison Bamford is on this, and the tributes pouring in for the former member of Direction One. Alison. Sandy, early autopsy results released today confirm Liam Payne died from injuries caused by the fall from his third floor hotel balcony in Buenos Aires. The initial 911 call came from the hotel receptionist reporting a guest intoxicated by drugs and alcohol was breaking the whole room. The caller asking to send someone urgently saying he's in a room with a balcony and we are afraid that he will do something that will put his life at risk. Due to protocol, authorities are investigating the death as suspicious, but say everything indicates the 31-year-old singer was alone when he fell and was going through an episode due to substance abuse. Outside the hotel where Payne plunged to his death, a growing makeshift memorial. We can and inside the UK's parliament, a tribute from government. Can I also send condolences to the friends and family of Liam Payne? One Direction was loved by millions across the world, and this was a tragic end for someone uh, so young. Hey girl, I'm waiting on you. Condolences continue to pour in across the globe for the former One Direction star. Reality TV show The X Factor that introduced the band to the world called Payne immensely talented and as part of One Direction, he will leave a lasting legacy on the music industry. Even though that his solo work has achieved more than 3 billion streams in his career, One Direction still gets 40 to 45 million streams on Spotify every single month. It was such an all-encompassing monster of a success that it's hard to break through and separate yourself from what made you famous in the first place. Payne's family issued a statement today saying they will remember him for his kind, funny, brave soul. They are asking for privacy at what they call an awful time. Sandy. All right, Alison, thank you.